Hi, my name is Pablo Requena and I would like to talk to you about the bending iron today. Um, in, in many occasions you're going to need to be bending some wood, um, some of the components of the guitar like the sides, especially they need to be bending and, and take, taking the right shape for them to go into, into the mold. Um, but not only the sides, you're also, also going to have um, veneers and strips for the rosettes or for the bindings, uh, perflins that they're going to need to be bent as well. Um, the usual bending iron that's available in the market, it's this one, and uh, usually you buy without this attachment on the top. I just got this one on because it's quite helpful to have uh, a small radius. But you'll find that um, as good as this, uh, you know, as good as it is, uh, it doesn't always give you the right shapes for what you want to do. So I've used this one for a long time, but I also found that it wasn't always so easy to take or to make the right shape, especially when I was bending the veneers for the rosettes. So, for example, if you look at these thin veneers, yes, you can bend it using these shapes, but it would be easier if you had exactly the right profile to be bending it to. So that's where I've got these other two that I can show you. And this is also helpful because it'll show you that actually, if you want to buy a ready-made bending iron, then that's great, but you don't have to. You can also make it yourself and not only will save you some money because they tend to be quite, quite dear, um, but also they will have the shape that you want to. So um, I've got these other two here. This one, in fact, is the first one that I ever had. And when I first started making guitars, I didn't have money to buy all the equipment. So some of the things I did enjoy making myself. So this one has been with me for quite a long time, actually. This one I made a few years ago. Um, so you can see you've got two different diameters here. This one is already quite warm. Um, so I'm just going to put it on the, on the base. And you can see that because it's a perfect cylinder, what will happen is that when you wrap the veneer around and just hold it in there just for a little bit, just to allow the heat to go in and take, take the shape in. Okay, so that should do. So you can see you've got a perfect circle in the veneer. If you need the circle to go even over, even farther, you can really coil the veneer around and you will end up having you will end up having a proper full circle like in here you can see. And you can see that that will go around very nicely instead of having to be dealing with the different shapes that you got with the Ipex um, bending bending iron. Um, this one works exactly in the same way and I've, I use it for, for bigger diameters that I need to bend occasionally. So what I wanted to show you is how, how did I make them. They're really fairly, fairly simple, so you probably already know what's, what's um, what the secret here. Well, it's not secret to me. So I'm going to switch this one off and um, to be honest, this one is the, the easiest one to, to uh, dismantle. So even though it's a bit hot, it's the one that I'm going to be working with. So what we need to do is to get a little screwdriver and if you look a bit closer really what we have here it's a base made of uh, plywood and I drilled a hole so that I can put in the cable and I'm going to show you in a minute what's inside and you can see that actually this is quite a simple device so I'm just going to take this screws off and basically what's happening is that inside this tube I've got a heating element um, which again you could go and, and purchase sorry let me just get a cloth here so that 
I don't burn myself but basically if I take this off you can see that my heating element is really quite simple it's just a light bulb I think this one is a 60 uh, 60 watts so it doesn't have to be particularly powerful and I just got a light bulb attachment uh, fixed into this uh, cylinder that I've I have also screwed into the base and then the cable just come through so this way you can provide enough heat for the tube to become hot enough to do the job and then you will look at the at the tube still a little bit hot but basically all it is is that I went to the local uh, metal worker and he basically cut me a section of a tube he welded a lid on top and then just made a few holes three holes around the base so that then when I put it in I can attach the metal into the base so you can see that actually it's really quite a simple way of making a bending iron you can make as many as you want because really it's a very inexpensive way of achieving it and uh, well yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a good option for when you need to be bending different shapes so I hope you find this helpful and you know for those of you guys who have been asking me about you know how do you bend specific um, shapes this is how i do it so thank you for watching and until the next one